Greetings, traveller. So what is the Matthias Mini Quiet Pro? Well, it's marketed as the quietest mechanical keyboard, and yes, it's pretty damn quiet. It uses Matthias's own switch, which is heavily based upon old ALP switches, and these use a rubber dampener on the slider so you don't get that clack when you bottom out and they require 60 grams of peak force and 35 grams to bottom out. So naturally with the claim of world's quietest mechanical keyboard we want to compare it to other key switches. So let's get that out of the way then talk about the keyboard itself and why not start with the Matthias itself. Alrighty, so now we'll compare it to a Microsoft Rubber Dome keyboard. Okay. So now we'll compare it to the Keycool 84, which uses Trey MX Blacks. Now I've got red WSD O-rings on these, so the body mount is quieter than it would be. So just compare without O-rings, it sounds like this. With. So hopefully you can pick up the difference in that sound. Um, so now just the typing with the O-rings. So now we'll compare it to the Razor Black Widow Gen 1 using Terry Amex Blue Switches. And because while we're at it, why not compare it to the Unicomp Model M we're using buckling springs? So hopefully this ghetto sound setup did a reasonable job in distinguishing the sound differences. But now to the keyboard itself, it uses what I would consider a god tier layout, which is slightly more compact than a 10 keyless, but still it's all the essential buttons. One thing I don't like about the layout is though, is with the function mapping, how the 
plain C buttons all the way to the top left. And with me and my small hand, I can't reach all the way with one hand. And it's always nice to have the other hand free to do other things. But I can live with it. Also, I would much prefer the home and end buttons to be the defaults rather than page up and down. But again, I can live with it. One thing I really like about the keyboard is the caps lock light, which isn't too bright, not too dim, just right. Also, the space bar and pretty much all the stabilized keys have a very nice consistent feel about them and sound isn't much different from the other keys. So another complaint I've got about the keyboard is that it's only got two rubber feet at the front and none at the back, or the stands. And this makes it pretty impressionable to little jolts and can move around a bit. Not too much, but still, you'd expect to see rubber feet at the back. And also you can easily see here, it's very glossy and I don't mind too much about the glossiness, but you know, it tracks fingerprints quite easily. Now the keycaps themselves are laser edged, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Like, I don't like being able to feel the legends so noticeably. And being an Alp slash Matthias keyboard, there's not really much of an option for aftermarket keycaps. So the keyboard features three USB 2 ports, a detachable USB cable, unfortunately it's micro USB, and they include a 1 and 2 meter cable. So, for the switches themselves, I've had this keyboard for about three weeks now, and I'm really enjoying using these switches. They're more tactile than a Cherry Blue, and they're probably the most similar to a Cherry Clear in terms of the type of bump, but after the bump itself, unlike a Cherry Clear where the force dramatically increases, the force drops out, and also, unlike a Cherry blue, it's not a like, like a just a sharp tactile bump. It's instead, it's more of a much more spread out bump. <laughs> if that's coherent in any way. <laughs> but overall, I really enjoy using this keyboard, and I'd really love for them to release a clicky version for the PC. And just a note on buying it: you can buy it worldwide from Matthias.ca. Um, it's about $130 US and shipping to the world's about $20 US from memory and it only took a week to arrive in Australia and um, they do international shipping from Taiwan unless it's in North America in which case they just ship from somewhere in North America but yeah that's pretty much it quite enjoying this keyboard and Hopefully there'll be a clicky version soon. Ciao.